we have been selling these CRTs really, really well at one of our antique malls. Uh, so I've got another one to drop off today. You might recall if you watched last week or two's worth of episodes, found this beautiful specimen here, a jailbird TV, a prison TV. Can't hide shivs in it. <laughs> True story. Uh, so I've got a, got a pretty little price tag on this bad boy gonna put it in our antique mall and uh, it'll probably sell this weekend every CRT I've put in here so far I'll drop it off on Thursday or so and it'll sell on the weekend so let's go toys are not where they belong. That's not ours. Well, I don't know how that ended up here. This is what happens after a good sales weekend. Stuff just gets shuffled. It's pretty normal in this kind of setting. You know, we've been selling a good amount here, but sometimes we get so busy that I don't really check the itemized sales reports on a daily basis. I'll, I'll check them sometimes after a couple weeks period uh, when I'm ready to restock and I need to know what, what more of what needs to come in here, maybe less of something else. That's where I look at exactly what we've sold. But I haven't looked at what we sold in just a little bit. I'm kind of surprised to see that all our Pokemon cards are sold out. I would have brought some more today had I known that. You should, you should probably look at those. But we've got five. How many booths do we have? Four. Four. We got, we got four booths right now, and uh, it's a lot of work just trying to keep track of exactly what's sold and where. But uh, I'll get some cards put back in here before the weekend. No problem. It's crazy though, isn't it? Because they they weren't selling here as fast as the other booths. But I think this last weekend. Uh, <laughs> That might have been what all our sales were. We had some pretty good sales here. Some, it looks like someone just came in and wiped out our Pokemon books. For some reason or another, I've been finding our antique malls where we resell a better supply for the card sleeves and stuff that I need uh, than I have had like game stores and Walmart and stuff. Of course, Walmart's pretty wiped out their supply chain because of COVID and stuff, but even game stores, I'll show up and try to get the card sleeves I need. And they just often don't have what I need, but my antique balls have been helping me out. I bought three sets of Yu-Gi-Oh size sleeves for some decks that I've built and stuff. Just let you guys know in case anybody's like me and just hurting for card sleeves. Go check your antique mall. We are at antique mall number two. This is also a brass armadillo, just like the last one. And we don't have anything to drop off here. We're just gonna check it, make sure stuff's not on the floor here. But also, I'm gonna check those lock boxes to see if there's any more card sleeves or other things I need. So stick around. Nerf guns are in the floor. I said it's just the weekends pokemon cards are in the nerf cart okay but uh it's really not too bad all things considered however things are just unnecessarily moved around i don't know why sonic was down there but i need to keep this thing here and this is usually hung up there we did have a really good black friday weekend sales so it's not too surprising people jumped in here and moved everything around sold some clocks over the weekend which is always awesome and uh we don't double post things a whole lot uh we don't post things on ebay that are here in the booth but sometimes what will happen is we'll give up on something that's on ebay because it's been there too long it doesn't sell like this ouija board and we'll drop it off here and forget to take it off of eBay and like the very next day it'll sell on eBay. So we gotta take that home and ship it out. All right, there you go. Just routine maintenance. This is just part of the upkeep of selling things at antique malls. You just gotta check up on things. Let's uh, let's shop around real briefly. Lego lightsabers, super awesome. 
I definitely need to make some of those and hang them on my wall. Now there is what a pin board should look like. That's exactly how you do that. This lock box is most certainly new. Well, you know, I'm not certain that it's new, but at the very least, maybe whoever had it has put different stuff in here, but I haven't, I haven't seen this. This is a lot of stuff I like. And these coins, $5 for five is pretty cool, but I'm gonna have to start cataloging which Pokemon coins I do and don't have so that when I see stuff like this, I can maybe buy the ones that I don't. Because I have been keeping one of everything. There's a bunch in here, but it's also really cool to see. He's got a whole bunch of Switch games for sale. I, that doesn't really happen a lot here. But as far as I can think of, it's probably the only Switch games in here. It's pretty awesome. Selling some tins and stuff as well. Selling the tins for about as much as I do, so that's cool. Empty tins. <laughs> Singles for Vivid Voltage, that's cool. That's timely. This is awesome. This is super, super cool. All right, well, I'm glad I took the time to look through here today. That's something I try to do on a video every, you know, few weeks or so, because the stuff changes out so fast that you never know what's gonna show up. Is that a Sharknado pop? What? What? Didn't buy anything, but I'm glad I looked around there. I just like knowing who's selling what and where I can get certain other trading card game supplies if I find that I need them any given day. Such a great, great antique mall this one is. It's probably my favorite one that we sell at. All right, super, super, super quick trick to the bins. I'm talking lightning round, let's go. Walked in the door and immediately found a bin full of vintage Wranglers, which is awesome. But there's, oh, there's some men's underwear in there too, gross. Um, there's definitely a bunch in here that I need to pick through and see about the condition of it because you can definitely tell some of it's very yellowed. And if they're all the same size, I'm only going to pick up maybe one or two because Wranglers sell, they sell kind of slowly. So we'll uh, look through this stack. There's like 10 of them here in my hair. So we got here at like kind of the end of a rotation and I think I just found someone's throwbacks. Cause that's a good pickup. Nobody would have missed that. I showed up at a really interesting time because the rotation, the floor has been open for a little while. It's probably a little less than halfway through the hour that it'll be open. Uh, so I don't have as much time as normal, but at the same time, there's so much stuff out. Like the, the, the place is actually, packed a little bit more than normal so i gotta hurry up and dig i gotta check all these bins and look for the stuff that i need you know okay i'm on the fence about this one it is vintage but like i don't love the cut of it it's a really cute jumpsuit like but the legs a little long i don't know see i'd want to like trim this back a little bit so maybe they'd be like short more so. But I don't know if it's worth the work. The bag of stuff that hasn't been rifled through. Interesting. Shower head. Ooh. Leap pad. I mean, I don't really want to mess with that, but it's in its box. There's some toys in here. Some draws. That's interesting. So this is a happy surprise. There's a bunch of Levi Corduroy here, which I'm super happy about. This is a little faded. So we'll think on that one. And I already threw one in my cart, so we're making some corduroys. Also interesting, 
It was half a gumball machine. Where's the rest? There's another bag. Not a ton of amazing things in the furniture section, but this is really cute. I love looking at the furniture section. Check out these Lego tubs. Where's the lids? So this is a snare drum stand for a kid's drum set. It's too small for what I need, but it'll work until I find something better. What are the chances? This appears to be a regular sized snare drum stand. It's just mixed up in spaghetti cables. So let's see if I can get it out. Wrapped around the light, right? Look at the size difference. Way bigger. It is missing a foot. That's all right. I can deal with that. The big one is missing a screw. It keeps it tight, but I'm about 80% sure this little one is going to be compatible. Hey, completely compatible. Let's go. That wasn't bad, that wasn't bad. I got something I really needed. Uh, stick around, I'll talk about what I'm gonna do with that when I get home. That's our van back there. We couldn't stay at the bins too long. We have a tire appointment to get our back tires replaced. You guys remember we went on a road trip recently and while on the road trip, we shredded a tire. Well, those tires, the tires we got replaced are still good, but it's time for the other ones now. So we're about to have four pretty brand new tires and it's gonna be nice. Van's gonna be a smooth ride. Let's cross this way first. While they're replacing our tires, we're gonna cross the street and get a sandwich or something. It's kind of awesome because the tire shop that we found that was the cheapest to get the tires we needed was really close to the bins. So, figure why not just squeeze that bins in there real quick. Too, far, too bad it's not just a little bit closer. We could just walk back over there. We're crossing the street to 7 Eleven. It's pretty convenient. Tire place right next to 7 Eleven. Get me a, what are they called here? Icy Slurpees? Slurpees. Slurpees. Trademark. Let's go. Where's the smallest one? I don't want anything huge. Is this it? Yeah. You want a small one too? Yeah, I don't want much. All right, find us lids. Here, right here. I'm not really a Mountain Dew drinker. Did you just throw that? I'm not really a Mountain Dew drinker, but a Mountain Dew Slurpee? Boy. Oh shoot, don't overflow. What are you getting? Vitamin um, water? Gross. Cherry Coke. You're gonna get Cherry Coke? I keep not grabbing the right Oh, food. so you're gonna do a mix? All right, do it. This right here sucks. <laughs> I, I got caught. <laughs> <laughs> Joke title, <trying to> laughing. <laughs> oh man, that's good right there. Rig. We got the walk. Just try not to die. This is so good. This is so good. Mine's very liquidy. Look at all that liquid. 
Yeah, yours is already melting. It's all that hot air you're breathing. Aww. Quit blowing in the straw. <laughs> Look at my poor van. Man, it's rough. It's real rough. All right, Hannah, brand new tires. Where are we going on our next road trip? Uh, Yuma first. Well, That's planned. <laughs> we are going to Yuma in a few weeks, hang out here uh, further west in Arizona, but probably gonna go to Texas soon after. What do you think about that, Texas next? Sure, that sounds great. Yeah, I think it'll probably be Texas. It'll be the next big road trip. All right, Ben's check. New tires, check. Desert, it's about to be check. <laughs> Maybe we'll find something cool today, but I'm gonna start out in the naked Barbie section. There's um plenty to be had. Let's see if we can find any brat stalls. Lots of monster high. Hmm. She looks older. I think I had her whenever I was a kid. Maybe. I had a lot of Barbies growing up. And I played with them a ton. Let's see, one little stack over here. She looks older. That's like a 90s makeup job for sure, maybe 80s. All right, I think we are Good rifling through the the carnage of naked Barbies. I made a mess. Whoops. All I see is a flute. 50 bucks. It's funny, this desert and the one across town look identical. They're just flip-flops. So every time I come in here, I'm like, end up walking the wrong direction to go to the dish section. But I found the dish section. We're here. And... kind of just want some Pyrex. Not really interested in anything else today. It's the last desert we were at. I found the Pyrex pie plate and it was beautiful. And I'm super excited about it. I mean, that's not Pyrex, but it kind of looked like it a little bit. Nothing I need there. Are there any video games at all? Kind of doesn't look like there's any. So out of the corner of my eye, I thought this was a Minecraft book cover. Like, you know those little stretchy book covers you used whenever you were in high school on your textbooks? But it's a Minecraft looking craft crew bandana. And I don't know what that thing's for. Interesting, but multi-use, you know, super good. That's funny. Not really finding much, but I did find the TARDIS. Let's go. We only make it up to this desert like once every couple weeks. It doesn't really ever feel often enough, but uh, we either came too soon coming back to this one today, or we just kind of had bad luck and came at the wrong time because there's next to nothing in there. I did get a dollar TARDIS though, Woo! so that ain't nothing. I thought we were going home, but we found a goodwill. Let's do, let's do one more stop. This is a Harry Potter puzzle game thing that I've never actually found before. And I sell these pretty well in our antique malls. This thing is smashed. Somebody stabbed that one. Ooh, spooky. So I haven't even made it over to the gaming section yet, but ba-boom. No way, that's pretty crazy. I mean, it's not terribly valuable, but it's in box. What an interesting thing to write on your plant stand. Cool. And here's the actual game section. Just checking first to make sure there's no more Sega Genesis stuff tucked in here. That'd be pretty awesome. Last stop magic, I guess, because I have this game, but I didn't have it in box, so that's awesome. Also, brand new tires. What do you think about that? Hey. Very comfortable ride. So I just wanted to talk about the bins real quick before we get started. It's such a magical place. There's so many, there's so many good things about it. First of all, I mean, every time we post a bins video at all, 
um, short, long, just a little bit of bins. Like today's video, you know, we didn't have a lot of time to spend there. So it wasn't, it wasn't a bins video where we spent all day there. It, even though it was just a little bit. Anytime we do that, people are just like, oh my gosh, I love the bins. Go to the bins more. And, and that's all I want to do. That's all we want to do half the time because it's such an adventure. You never know what you're going to find. But more importantly than that, and this is what I really have to say about the bins, it always gives me something I need. <laughs> it really does. I've made jokes in the past about it being like the Harry Potter room of requirement. You need something, this place presents it to you. And it had to be, well, it was the last bins episode we made. I said while I was there, I need a snare drum stand. Yeah. And I really only thought of that because there was drum stuff that day there. But I've seen a thousand snare drum stands there. So I, I haven't rushed out to the music store and bought a snare drum stand yet because I know it'll show up at the bins. There's many ways, and you, uh, you can maybe think of some examples too, but there's many ways over the years of having access to the bins that I've thought, I really need this thing, but I'm not in too big of a hurry, so I'll wait a month and it'll probably show up at the bins. The thing that happens to me a lot is like a light bulb will go out in the house <laughs> and then I'll be at the bins and I'll be like, oh yeah, here's a light bulb. I Here, need that. Here's a nice LED bulb. <laughs> so a little bit backwards. You see something there and remember you need yeah. one. Yeah. Well, I, I get accused of being cheap on this channel all the time. I guess guilty as charged, but the bins does it to you. I mean, I a snare drum stand, which I have right here, and I'll go ahead and show you. I've got my drum pad on it. This drum pad came from the bins too, right? And this is, let me show you something even more awesome. I mean, I've talked about this endlessly, okay? Here's our whole game room right now. Here's my desk set aside. I've been setting up this whole game room. Now we look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so I, small. <laughs> I've been setting up this whole game room thing to do some live shows on. But I've been setting it up to where we can actually do li a little bit of live music. But I've been trying to do it all where it's in headphones. So... A good drummer can beat out this drum pad right here and play drums on this thing. And it's got a plug up for a foot pedal. This, of course, is in replacement of putting a whole drum set over here, which obviously isn't going to happen. There's not enough room. It would be too loud for the area we're in. It's not going to happen. But now we can play silent drums on our headphones. And, well, it won't sound like that to you guys. You guys will hear it over your speakers. But while we're in here, it'll be, it'll be on that. Can you play the drums at all? Have you ever tried? Nope. Yeah, me neither. I, I can play a lot of stuff, but for some reason I ain't got that kind of rhythm. But, um... I remember one time I was playing rock band with <laughs> one of my friends, and I was on the drums, and, you know, in that, that part of rock band where it's just like, you can do the freestyle here. Yeah. There was one shining moment in my whole life. I just kind of, like, didn't think about it. I was just like threw down the sickest beat, and I was like, threw him. I was like, I'll never play again. I'm done. <laughs> That's like Tenacious D. The, 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 what's the song called? The This is the greatest song oh, in the yeah. world. <laughs> but I can't remember how it went. We played the greatest song in the world. But it, like, yeah, you did that on the drums that day. Everyone has their moment, whether or not it's on camera or not. But I'm saying all this to say, there's about five more things I need for this room that I guess I could rush out and buy. But they're like $100 things. Like this... I think this drum pad's 150 new, which is not an expensive drum pad. That's pretty cheap, you know. But I got it at the bins, and I needed a snare drum stand. I don't know how much those cost new. Probably you can probably get a cheapy for 60 bucks, a nice one for 150 or something like that. I waited and I got it at the bins, and I just say that to say if you've ever watched our videos and you thought, ooh, the bins would be fun. Pause this video right now and Google Goodwill Bins. One of the first sites that will come up is a Goodwill Bins locator it's website. Goodwill Outlet Locator, I believe. There, there it is. You don't even have to type that in. Just search Google search Goodwill Bins and that site will pop up. And look where the nearest one is to you. Um, and consider driving there, you know, because there's inevitably a lot of people watching in America. There's going to be one within a few hours of you. Our... our, our uh, British friends and stuff, and some of you guys, I know you guys don't have anything quite like that. Um, I know some people, I've heard, I've seen some comments in Canada, they found some other stores that are like that. Um, and I've been seeing here in America, I've been seeing stores pop up that are like Amazon, you know how you can go buy Amazon pallets of returns and stuff or whatever? I've been seeing stores pop up that are basically Goodwill bins for Amazon returns, you know? That'd you, be fun. Yeah, you pay for that stuff by weight, like that's nuts. Uh, so just get online and look, because 
it's such an easy way to be resourceful. I mean, you guys watch us put clips in our videos all the time where we come home and paint something or work on something. I've been building stuff. I've been, I've been tickling that builder's fancy by just building stuff that I bring home for the bins. And it's such a wonderful resource to have. So I have an apology to make too. I apologize to you guys that are going to do that and don't have access to one. I really wish you did. If I was Santa Claus, I wouldn't bring you all toys or charcoal. I would bring you all bins. <laughs> I would I would ho 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 down the chimney and bring you the bins. I wish everyone had it because um, it's so useful for stuff like this. So that's really all I got. I bought the TARDIS at the <laughs> cute. At the desert. That's all I got. You did better than I did. I didn't find anything at either one. So. Nothing? So all you got was bin stuff, huh? I did, but I did really well at the bins. Alright, so. well show us what you got at the bins. I got all of this at the bins. All jeans? You got They're several pairs you got bottoms. several pairs of black ones. Yes. I need so many pairs of black jeans right now to fill orders. I'm still a few short, but that's just one of those things. I was saying to you last night, I was like I need some more black jeans to be able to fill all my orders. And he's like, well, we're going to go to the bins tomorrow. And I'll be like, good. I'll find it there. And sure enough, here they are. How many times has that happened? <laughs> Where, like, you you start to go, oh, no, I'm going to have to pay full price at the regular Goodwill. And we know how much I don't want to do that. Yeah, we don't <laughs> like spending $10 on jeans. We like spending $1.99. <laughs> um, yeah, but... There was also, I said in yesterday's video, mm -hmm. or the last time we went to the bins, I think it was yesterday, I don't remember, that I wanted to start making a few corduroy jeans. Guess what I found? Levi corduroys. Even nice. better. They're beautiful. There were three pair there, but one was pretty damaged, so I left them. Here, but I, I grabbed two of them. I don't know if I've ever... I have found one pair of corduroy Levi's in my whole life, well, and I think they were tan. Well, yeah, these on ca on this camera, those don't look like Levi's. Yeah, they look like regular jeans, but they are our corduroy. Let me let me do a little. Yeah, you can tell up close. I mean, this is a pretty good camera, so you can get that detail. Uh, they're corduroy. I yeah, I, I definitely never owned a pair of those. Neither have I. <laughs> they're very soft though. I'm very excited about it. So we're gonna be slapping this pair of jeans with some other corduroys if, you, and... if you've ever wanted a reference of how big around one of my legs is that's about it <laughs> those are so oh. small there was an entire bin full of um, one size of vintage wranglers so i picked up the best ones so like some old dude croaked and his wife just threw his whole his collection his 33 of 32s oh yeah they are are they 33 34s i think oh. they're, yeah they're long they're super long 36s <laughs> whoa they keep on going we've got a long-legged friend that wears like 36s 38s what's his waist yeah, size his he waist knows size. who he is he's gonna <laughs> message me and be like hannah i've told you four times i was like i'm sorry <laughs> I think it is, it could be potentially like 33, somewhere in there. At any rate, not, not easy to find. No, not at all. But those are all three the same size? All of them. And then this baby. I didn't see You those. didn't even see these. Mm -hmm. um, I said to the camera, this was somebody's throwbacks. It had to be. That's those aren't nice. the most amazing Tommy jeans I've ever found in my life, but those are pretty cool. Those yeah. Sick. You guys, we've said this before in our videos. I mean, we sell a lot of jeans. So here's the thing about these jeans. If there's anything big, red, and blue, or white Tommy on Tommy jeans, we sell them pretty quick. Yeah. We can find a dozen pairs a week that are subtle, like a pair of Wranglers or something. Or, you yeah. know, Levi has the tab. It has the, the patch. Same with Wranglers. That's all that gives it away. If it's that simple in Tommy's, we'll never sell it. Yeah, but if it's just it, that teeny tiny flag on the back pocket, no. But if it's got a big flag on the back. Well, if it's got a big flag or if it's got anything else. I mean, sometimes, like, the Tommy's, the ones we've sold for the most are like, Tommy Hilfiger. Those are money. Yeah, and this is not the best. I mean, honestly, we, in my experience, and I'm only talking about this because I, I sell the Tommy ones on my page. She doesn't put Tommy's on her page so much. I sell the women's stuff. He sells the men's Pre stuff. I mean, this is the men's stuff. Pretty much. <laughs> but even my stuff are still mostly goes to women. It's more unisex. Yeah. <laughs> Yours is like specifically women and mine's like, because the Tommy stuff that has the big logo on the back, if, uh, if you get that, try to put that on Depop. And I'm only saying that because we've been getting a lot of messages on our Discord which you should go join, link in the description. Uh, but we've been getting a bunch of messages on Discord, and then we've also been getting a bunch of comments asking, you know, people, I've been hearing a lot of people say, man, I want to get started on Depop or something like that. You know, will you have any tips? What do I do? The only other tip I can give other than do it, just go do it, is stuff like that. you got to look for the stuff that's definitely going to sell. And yeah. 
for those kinds of jeans, the bigger the Tommy the logo, the more you can ask. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, what's your favorite thing we brought home today? Ooh, I'm gonna oof. I'm gonna go with the probably the Tommy jeans. Those are pretty pretty sweet. Well, that's mine. I just cool. I, I just needed it. I just needed it so bad. Yeah. And uh <sighs> I, I, I was actually a little bit surprised it was there. You didn't even see it. I found a kid one. Oh, it was really? like half that size. I was like, I'm still going to make it work. And then, and then, of course, I kept digging in a completely other bin on the other side of the room. There was a full one, and it was wrapped in spaghetti wire. Oh, no, your least favorite. <laughs> yeah, so I, I kind of had to dig it out, but it, it was worth it. Um, so I, I said before we got into this week's videos we were going to do more bins this week than normal, and already we're probably on our third video. And I don't know for sure, but we'll probably go back tomorrow. I would like to. Yeah, I kind of plan on it. So if you're into that, if you like the bins videos, I like I said, I know we didn't put much bin stuff in today's video, but we had to get new tires. It was just time. It was that time. Uh, but tomorrow we'll probably go spend like half the day there or something. So subscribe, turn those notifications on if you're into that kind of thing, and uh, come back and hang out with us tomorrow. And until tomorrow, guys, peace out.